Hi, in this video we're talking about molarity. Molarity is a type of concentration, it's the most common type of concentration, um, and we use it to tell how strong or weak a solution is. So I want to actually start with what's a solution? Well first, um, in order to have a solution you need to first have a solvent. A solvent is something that does the dissolving of a solution. Um, everybody's favorite solvent is water because water is really good at dissolving things. Water molecules are polar and they're able to rip apart things that are also polar or ionic. So a solvent uh, most often is water, but you could really have anything as a solvent. You could have ethanol, which is a type of alcohol. You could have, um, you know, hexane. There's lots of different types of solvents. But the universal solvent is certainly water. So anytime you hear solvent, think, oh, that's the water part of the solution. The solute is the thing that we add to the solvent to make a solution. And solutes could be lots of different things. Um, what we do when we make a solution is we take a solute and we add it to a solvent and those mix together and now you have a solution. So that's what a solution is. It's just two parts. It's the solute, which is the thing you add, and it's the solvent, which is the receiver. It's the thing that does the dissolving. It's usually in the, create, in the greater quantity. And like I said, water is, is the best solvent, and for this, we're going to assume that every solvent is water. So what's molarity then? Well, you ever had terrible Kool-Aid? Uh, terrible Kool-Aid is weak because there's not a lot of Kool-Aid per water. Uh, great Kool-Aid is Kool-Aid that's got tons of sugar powder per water. Um, in chemistry, that's what concentration's expressing. Um, but you know, weak versus strong only goes so far. What we really need in chemistry is numbers that say, well, how strong, how weak is this solution? And that's where molarity comes in. Molarity is the quantification of strong versus weak solutions. Uh, it's basically this. It's how many moles of the solute, again, that's the thing that we add, that are in every one liter of solution. Now careful, the solvent's not in this. So liter of solution, well the solution is the solute and the solvent together. Now you might be thinking, well, if I add some sugar to some water, it's not really going to change the volume, but actually it does. And the more that you add, the more uh, an effect of adding a solute to a solvent will have on the overall volume of the solution. We'll talk a little bit more about why this part matters, why it matters to say per liter of solution and not per liter of solvent uh, later on when we're talking about how to actually make solutions. But just know that this is going to be moles of solute in every liter of solution. And so we get an equation that actually looks just like this. Molarity, which is this big capital M here, is the number of moles, N, and then subsolute here, just to remind you that we're not looking for the moles of the solvent, we're looking for the moles of the thing that we've added, divided by the volume of the solution, but it's gotta be in liters. And so very often you'll just see this M equals N over V, uh, when what's meant is N of solute, the moles of solute, per V of solution, the liters of solution. That's a volume expressed in liters. Okay, so let's do a couple example problems. Uh, this one says, what's the molarity of a two liter solution? Okay, well there's volume. That contains three moles of NaCl. There's my moles. So I just have to take this and plug it in. The molarity is moles over liters. So I've got three moles of NaCl for every two liters, and I see that it says of solution. So three over two, three sig figs here would be 1.50. And then the unit on molarity is kind of strange. The unit on molarity is the same as the variable molarity. It's capital M, uh, which is a little confusing at first because we just solved for M is equal to one and a half M, which doesn't make much sense unless you know that this is the variable M and this is the unit M. So just keep that straight. That's the simplest type of molarity problem. How many moles you have, how many liters, just divide them. What if they don't give you moles and liters? What if they give you something like this? We want to figure out how many moles, we're looking for N, of calcium chloride are in 750 milliliters. So there's volume, but I've got to get that into liters. 
quick way to do that, 750 milliliters. If I divide by 1,000, I'm just setting up some unit conversion here. This is factor label method. If this is confusing to you, go back and watch my factor label method video, which should be suggested in one of the corners of the video right now. Uh, go watch that, because this is being able to convert between units. It's, it pops up everywhere in chemistry. So if you're really still struggling on that, or maybe this is brand new to you, um, you know, you got to go and, and figure that out. Uh, most common question I get from students is, hey, do I multiply or divide by 1,000 if I want to get into liters? And uh, my answer is, do out the work. Um, I'm not always around when you're trying to do this later on. So if you know you're starting in 750 milliliters, you're going to have to divide by 1,000 milliliters because you'll have one liter on top. And so that gives you 0.75 uh, liters. So that's how many liters we want to use here. So that'll go in there, 0.75 liters. We're solving for N, and it tells us that the molarity is uh, 1.0 molar. So let's plug in what we have. We've got 1.0 for M. N we don't know, but we know the bottom is 0.75. Now, there's a couple ways to look at this. One has got to be equal to 0.75 over 0.75. The other way to do it is algebraically, where you multiply both sides by 0.75, and that gives you 0.75 moles equals N. Uh, either way you think about it, you'll get the same amount of moles. It's 0.75 moles in this example. Okay, one more. Before you pause, what I want you to do is just notice that there are grams uh, in this and milliliters. So we're going to have to do a couple conversions to figure out the molarity. So pause the video now if you'd like to try this on your own. Uh, this says I add 23 grams of LIF. I have to take the 23 grams of LIF and turn that into moles because molarity is the moles per liter of solution. So 23 grams of LIF. On the bottom, I want the molar mass of LIF, which, grab a periodic table, I've got mine right over there. It's telling me that lithium's mass is uh, seven and fluorine's mass is 19. So the molar mass of this is 26 uh, grams per mole. So 26 is gonna go on the bottom there, one mole up on top, uh, and then I calculate 23 over 26 gives me 0.88 moles. So then I'm going to plug in for N, 0.88 moles. Now I have to get 320 milliliters into liters. We just divide by 1,000. That gives us 0.32 liters. And so that goes in the bottom there, 0.32 liters. I'm just going to do this underneath. So 0.88 divided by 0.32 uh, is 2.8 molar. Two significant figures on that one because we've got two sig figs and two sig figs. So there's the answer to that one. So uh, the one other thing I can mention, sometimes if we want to refer to molarity quickly, so like the molar concentration of LIF in this case, we would put LIF's chemical formula in square brackets like this. Uh, and that means that the molar concentration of LIF or the molarity of LIF is equal to 2.8 molar. So sometimes you'll see these square brackets pop up and it just means the molarity. And that's it. That's molarity. Molarity is just the most common way to express the concentration of a solution. Uh, puts numbers to things that we other, otherwise might say, well, that's really concentrated or that's really dilute. That's really strong or that's really weak. Well, those are qualifying statements. A molarity, a molar concentration, will put a number on it. And you'll see going forward in chemistry, holy crap, molarities are used like everywhere. So it is very important that you know how to calculate a molarity and you know precisely what it means. Thank you.